Hey everyone, today in this video I'm going to show you how to customize your Shopify Spotlight theme. I'm going to show you what you can do with the customization, how to make it really your own store or theme. So first you need to actually install the Shopify Spotlight theme. In order to do so, you need to go ahead and go to your Shopify dashboard and then you go and click on your online store. From here you just click on themes. Now you should find uh, the whatever theme that you have on and if you don't have the spotlight you just need to go down here to theme library and just click on add theme once you do that you can just find this visit theme store you click on it now you just wait until it redirects you into the uh, shopify uh, theme store and then you can just click on the search bar and then just type in spotlight and then you just click on it Keep in mind that the Spotlight is actually a free theme that you don't need to pay anything for, so it's uh, you can just start using it by today. You can, after you find it, you just click on Try a Theme. Now it's going to uh, load a little bit until it loads it into your actual Shopify theme list, and you now should find it in here. It should be over here in theme library. And if it takes too long, you can just restart. Now it should be ready to go, but it's still not your current uh, theme just yet. It's still done for me. So once it's done loading, you need to actually click on publish in order to make sure that it's actually the theme that you are using. So you click on publish and then you just hit publish again. And now, as you can see, it, my store just turned into the Spotlight theme. Now here, we start to actually customize the theme. In order to do so, you just click on Customize. Now, it will give you pretty much what others can see in the store, and you can uh, just customize anything that you can see over here. What you can see from the header, the templates, and the footer, you can all... All of those things you can edit and I'm going to show you how. So first, let's start with the header. If we click on the header, we can just uh, change this logo up and make it, for example, it's top left. Uh, let's make it center if you want or to the right. It's all up to you. You can change it here. But first, let's actually change it into our logo. To do so, you need to go ahead and click on theme settings. Once you do that, you can click on the logo uh, down arrow, and then you just go ahead and click select image under logo. Now, once you do that, you can just upload your own image. I already did that. You can just add images, but I already have this image right here, which I will be using as the uh, logo. So you just select it and just click on done. And you just give it a second and as you can see it's changed the logo now we can also adjust the size of the logo we can make it larger or smaller depending on how how we want it so let's just say we stick to this size so this this is it for the logo now we can also change the colors for the actual uh, background and the store in general by just going still in the theme settings we go to colors and we can just choose any of those uh, schemes that we want. And we can actually edit them ourselves. So, so let's, for example, go scheme one. And let's, for example, choose the background color to be gray. We can do that. We can change it to any color we want. Or we can also do something very cool, which is background gradient. So this way you don't have re have only a solid color but you have uh two so if we do radiance if we choose for example this one we can change it to let's say i want to have black and gray so i choose the first color as black and then if we just switch that up a little bit now i want to make sure the other color is actually gray Oh, my bad. So I have changed. Hold on. This should be black. And this right here. If we go here, 
the red, I want to change that to make it gray. So now we have two colors, black and gray, and we can just use this circle over here to make sure it's the way we want it. So as we can see on the website, it actually changes. We want the more gray parts up top. So the logo, the black logo appears better. So here you can play around with the colors. You can play around with the colors of the text. Let's make it white. So, and since the background is pretty much black, the button, let's make it red. So you can just play around with this and all of those things down here. So once we are done, we can just back out of here. And now we can also, we're done with the colors now. As you can see, you have a lot of things you can play around with in, this, uh, in the theme settings. You can add your social media here. So if you just uh, want to add your Facebook, you can do that here, put your links over here, but you can also change the font by going to typography right here and just, uh, you can change the font color, for, uh, the font and the color for the headings and also for the body. So let's say I want to change the font, the heading font. So we just click on change and select which color, uh, which font that we want and just select. And we can do so much more by going over here. But let's actually add more stuff to the website. So if we go back to sections, we have our header, we have our template and we have our footer. So basically this is the header. Let's say we want to add something to it. We can add a section over here under the header and you can add, add a announcement bar. You can also use custom liquid if you know how to code, but we can just add announcement, announcement bar. You could use the announcement bar to uh, basically announce maybe if you have sales or something. So you can just, uh, to change the text, you can simply click on announcement bar. Uh, my bad, you can click over here. Welcome to our store. You can click on that and then you can just uh, type in, for example, 20% off, uh, whatever it may be. Let's just say tutorial. Uh, and you can also pay, put a link on it. So if anybody clicks it, it takes them to the link. So that's how to uh, do so. Uh, maybe we want the announcement more to be on top. You can just simply drag it and put it up top. And as you can see, now it's on top of the header. Now uh, let's go ahead and actually go to the template. So the template, uh, and default shows you the featured collection. You can uh, add so much more to that. You can also hide it if you don't want it. Uh, but let's show it back. Let's add section. So in the add section, you have plenty of uh, things you can add for the template. You can add a slideshow. You can add uh, collage, uh, videos, blog posts, whatever it may be. So let's, for example, add a uh, image with text. This is going to add image with text as we can see here. You can adjust the image by clicking image with text and then you just select image. I'm just going to use the same picture, but you get the point. You get, just get to change the picture that you want to use. You can edit it if you want. And let's just uh, adapt image small. We can change the size of it. And we can also change the uh, aspect ratio of the picture. So if we just select adapt to image medium, apparently this image is not going to fit very well with this, but we can change, uh, we can make sure the size is correct beforehand. Uh, so if we, want to edit the text here. However, we just go ahead and click on image with text and we can change this to whatever we want. Tutorial. We can make it small, medium or large, depending on what you want. And you get the point. You can just click on here. You will change the actual paragraph, which is over here. And then the most important part, you can also add or edit the button. 
So this is going to be similar to each other section. It's not only limited to the picture with text section. You can add anything else. And if it has a button, you can just go here, click on the button. Let me just change it. Click on the button. And then from here, you can just change the whatever it says on the button. So just click here, for example. And here you can do uh, put the link. Maybe it's a link to a product. Maybe it's a link to uh, collections. So let's say it's a product. I actually don't have any products right now, but if you do, it should show uh, all your products over here. You can just choose one. But for now, let's just say I want to redirect this button, redirect to all products. So I just check this. And now anybody who clicks here is going to be redirected to all products. So this is pretty much what you can add for the template. You can add more to it, add section. You have more things. Let's say uh, you want to add an FAQ. You can add collapsible content. You click on that. And then from here, you can just change each one by clicking on them. So let's change this one. Uh, let's just name it uh, delivery time. It can change and you can change the icon as well to a plane maybe because it's delivery. And then obviously you just type in the uh, duration for or the answer to the question. So four to five working days, I don't know. So now if we click on this, you should find it over here. And you, you, if you want to edit the rest, you can just go back and simply click on the second one, type whatever you want, tutorial, and change the icon of if you want, you can make it a box and then type the answer. It doesn't really matter what the answer is for this. So that is what you can do now for the footer. Also, you can add as many as you want. It's not limited to two or three. You can add as many sections as you want. Image with text, collection list, rich text. doesn't really matter. You can just add whatever you want here. For the footer, it's going to be, you can add a section. The only section is going to be available. Available is the email sign up, which is going to be subscribe to our emails. Be the first one to know the exclude. Obviously, you can change the text as always. Uh, by just clicking on it, subscribe to our emails. You can just change it to whatever you want. And same here. The email form uh, is basically this where you, the customer is going to uh, type in their email. So if you can change whatever you want, and that's pretty much all I can show you right now. So I think you get the gist of it. By the way, you can view it from the mobile aspect by clicking on this mobile icon over here. And as you can see, this is how it's going to be uh, shown in mobile. So remember, for this picture, I actually used a very big picture for it. It needs to be smaller. You would need to keep that in mind, obviously, and then you can add more to it. Uh, remember, the team settings is going to include many of uh the aspects that you are, you are going to be adding the media how you want you want it to be shown everything basically is going to be here the way it looks simply and then here you add the elements to it so add section you add whatever you want and then you customize the text over here but if you want to customize the colors and stuff you go to theme settings so i hope it's clear how you can go ahead and actually uh, customize the spotlight theme for Shopify. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.